Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol XELA. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like to do this time, Frampton has a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price, and then makes mapping out where levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. Very nice movement today, not only from the price action point of view, but you look down here at the volume and well above average volume on the day. So a lot of eyeballs going on and watching this one next week. So let's map out some levels of support and resistance. So first level of support is what I would call the ideal level. And if you say, hey Clay, what would make this chart look the absolute strongest going forward? And that would be if the price could stay up there above $1.35. Now don't get me wrong, if the price falls below $1.35, I'm not saying the entire chart's destroyed or ruined or anything like that. But yeah, if the price could manage to stay up above that level, that would definitely be a massive sign of power going forward. Taking a step back and looking at all this from the bigger picture point of view, that is where the purple line there comes into play, the 50 period, simple moving average. Keyword being moving. As time goes on, this line here is gonna move itself higher and higher. So a very straightforward way to gauge the health of the move, that right there being defined as the move. Just watch that purple line. As long as the price stays above that line, as the line itself moves higher and higher, then the bulls are in full control, the bulls are in full health. How are you gonna best visualize that? That is what is being represented. Again, yeah, staying up above $1.35 would be great, but from the grand scheme of it all, as long as the price is above that purple line, the bulls 100% own the chart. What about levels of resistance going into next week? Initial level of resistance gonna be right up here at, what is that, about $1.43, and you can see throughout the course of the late morning and then afternoon, the price got up around this level on about four different situations and can never quite get back up above it, so that's gonna be that near-term level, but if the price can eventually push up through that area, then the next key overall level will be right up there around $1.52. So keep an eye on those areas. All in all though, anyway, look at it, great volume today, nice price movement, and now the big question going into next week is just can the price build upon and start to chip away and build higher lows? Let's see what happens. One of the biggest questions I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.